Good morning, Rainbow Room. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. So let's get to it. We'll start today with our calendar because we have a few projects and assignments to do today. Pretty exciting stuff. Okay, let's see. Yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was not Sunday. So let's move this on over. Yesterday was Monday. Yesterday was our first day of the weekday. So yesterday was Monday. That means today is Tuesday, meaning that tomorrow will be Wednesday. Yep. Okay. So we know that yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. And tomorrow will be Wednesday. So today is Tuesday. Let's see. I think we can hypothesize that because of our pattern making, today is going to be green. Yep, green, green. Now, yesterday was the 23rd, a two and a three. Oop, just dropped some markers. Okay, so today's, yesterday was the 23rd, three, third and three. Kind of sounds similar. So that means that today is going to be the 24th. That's right. So it's a two first and then the four. 24. And then here's a little sneak peek to tomorrow. What do you think comes after 24? We've got 23, 24, 25. Great. Okay. So we know today, if yesterday was the 23rd, today will be the 24th. That's great. All right, so let me look for a green 24. That looks like a pretty good green 24 to me. All right, now we know that we're in the month of March. Now, Miss Noemi forgot something last week on the 19th. I missed it on my calendar, but on the 19th was the first day of spring. We're no longer in the season of winter anymore. I forgot that it was spring because it's been so cold lately and it's been raining where I live every day or cloudy. So I completely forgot it was spring, but we will do a spring project tomorrow in lieu of our new season. So we're no longer in winter. We're looking forward to spring. Springtime is the perfect weather for growing fruits and vegetables and gardens or trees, plants, because during the spring months, which is from March, where are we? We've got March right here, March, April, May until June, yeah. May, April, April, May, and June, March, um, have great weather for growing things because it is sunny, but we also get a little bit of rain. And what do plants need to grow? Sun and water. So it's a great time to go outside and watch all of the flowers bloom and the trees, their leaves get nice and green again. So it's gonna be a beautiful time. Now, <clears throat> let's do a repeat after me. So, repeat after me. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. And we are officially in spring. Fantastic, friends. Okay. Now, as we were talking about spring and our weather, let's check our weather really quick. I'm looking outside. It looks very cloudy where I live. The sun is kind of coming out just a little bit right now. So it's a little sunny, we'll leave the sunny up, and a little cloudy, and it was drizzling just a little bit in the morning. So there's a little bit of rain. It's a little bit of everything, but not really windy today. All right, friends, so let's get to it. So now, yesterday, I know we learned about the letter X, which is fantastic. Now, X, like Teacher Peter said, is a little tricky because he doesn't really like to be the line leader of words. 
So we find the letter X many times in the end of words or in the middle of words. Now I know I had some friends give some examples yesterday during our Zoom meeting, but we had this one, which was a f, a, x, 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 and there's our x. He's not a line leader. He doesn't really like to be an x, a line leader. And we have other words like, let's see if we can figure this one out. We have b, a, x, x, b, a, x, box. There's our letter X again, but at the back, in the, in the end of the letter, the word. Now, today I have a mission for my rainbow friends. I want you to go ahead and grab a basket or a bag or a little box or something you can carry things in. Not a lot of things. And I want you to find, mm, let's do, hmm, let's do five things. I want my friends to find five things that have the letter X in the word. If you have a toy box, that can go into your little basket. If you have a tiny little box, that can go into your basket. And we'll find out different words and see if, see if you, how many things you can find in your house. Well, we're gonna find five, but if you can put them inside that basket and then we'll take a picture and all of us can share all of the different items that we found that have the letter X in it. Like my friend Atticus said, a xylophone. That one doesn't sound like it has the letter X in it, but it sure does. It has it right at the beginning. That's why letter X is a little tricky, but if you have a xylophone, you can put it inside that basket and it'd be great. There's so many, uh, I know my friend Charlie said Axe. Axe is a great one too. That one's pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy for my friends to read. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, like Annie the apple, and x, 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 x. If you have a toy x, like for a firefighter kit, that is great. If you have some Lego pieces that have the word exit in it, that'd be fantastic. Or if you have some exercise tools at home, like maybe some weights or, uh, exercise ball or something, you can put it inside that basket. I wanna find five things that have the letter X in it. And you can always ask your families for help. If you're not sure, you're like, hmm, I think this word has an X in it, but I don't know. Always ask for help, okay? So that's our one assignment is to get a basket or a box with things, five things that have the letter X in it. Now, I saw a lot of my friends did their I Can Eat a Rainbow worksheet that I sent out yesterday. I love seeing all of the foods you drew. I love seeing all of your lunches. I watched you drew Peter make his lunch, pretty silly. Now, today I'm gonna send out another worksheet and this one's a little different. This one, I know we have our leader letters and our follower letters, but if I have the leader letter F, I want my friends to write down, right next to it, there's gonna be a little box, okay? So this is gonna be what your, the worksheet's gonna look like. Let's fix that, okay? And then right next to it, it's gonna have a little box, and I want my friends to put the follower letter. So if this is the leader letter F, the follower letter F looks like that. If this is the letter Leader letter G, the follower letter, just like that. And then C, ooh, this one's a tricky one, is it? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's just a little smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna send out that one and once you're done with it, I would love to see my friends, see how they're practicing writing their letters because I know we're not inside Rainbow Room but I still want my friends to practice how to write their letters. Now, one more thing. I know I asked my friends to make a pattern the other day. I didn't get many patterns and that's okay. I wanted us to try it again today because I know yesterday I got lots of skeleton bodies made out of um, magnet tiles and Legos, which is great. I love seeing all of them, they're great. Now, <clears throat> today I want my friends, if you have Legos or magnet tiles, you can use either one 
but it has to be colors. So you have Legos or magnetiles. And I want you to, if you have Legos, I'm gonna pretend mine are Legos, okay? So, you know, the Lego pieces have those little, little things on the top so you can connect them with the little connector pieces. I want you to make a pattern with three different colors, okay? Three different colors. So these are gonna be my pretend Legos. So I've got a blue Lego at top, then I'm gonna connect a green one. Oh, I need to get another marker, okay? And then now I'm gonna add one more color and you can do it whatever three colors you want, okay? So just like this. And then what color do I have to do again if I'm making a pattern? Blue, green, red, you guessed it, blue comes next. So my friends to make a pattern today out of three colors, a three colored pattern. Let's see, does red come next? Silly, green comes next. All right. And then if this is a pattern, we're gonna do it we're gonna, with three colors. We're missing one more. We got blue, green, red, blue, green, red. All right, can't wait to see those pattern towers that my friends are gonna make today. Now, if you don't have Legos, that's okay. If you have magnet tiles, you can make them with magnet tiles too. You can stack up your big magnet tile. Some friends have translucent magnet tiles. I've seen opaque magnet tiles. So you can grab your magnet tile and you can either put it right next to it to make your, your pattern. You can grab another one right next to it and continue your pattern like this. Or you can stack them together and your stack won't look this big. Your stack will just look, because the magnet tiles are really thin. So your stack will look like this, but it'll still be a pattern. Mm -hmm. Or if you wanna use different shapes, you wanna use your triangle, triangle magnet tiles, that's fine as long as they're next to each other and it is a pattern. So go ahead, grab your Legos or your magnet tiles and I wanna see a beautiful pattern made of three colors. Three colors, whichever three colors you would like. All right, so let's review really quick, friends, because we've got a lot to do today. So we're gonna find a box or a basket and you're gonna find five things that have the letter X in it. You can look around your whole house, or everywhere, everywhere you can, and find three things that have the letter X inside that basket. Take a picture, send it to us so all of us can see it. That's number one. Number two, we're gonna practice our follower and leader letters on a worksheet. I wanna make sure my friends have been practicing their letters. And number three, I wanna see or pattern layout with three colors. Either use your Legos or your magnet tiles, just three colors, please and thank you. Okay, friends, that is it for today in the morning. I will see you in just a little bit for our morning Zoom with Teacher Peter and have a happy Tuesday.